Hey there, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how to connect a Boomtown to MailChimp so you can send a beautiful email newsletter to all the leads you have in Boomtown. That way you stay top of mind. When they've done surveys of real estate clients, over 80% of them would love to do business with their same real estate agent they used last time, but they're not top of mind. They forgot who they are, it's been a while. So if you send out that weekly email newsletter, you'll stay in their inbox, they're gonna remember you, and when it comes time for a new deal to come up, they'll give you a call, they'll respond to that email, and you're gonna have a new deal in your pipeline. Let me show you how easy it is to set this up. First, I'm gonna to go to apination.com, and here I'm gonna click on Discover Connections, and then you can see all the apps we have available for real estate agents. Here's Boomtown, I'm gonna click on that, and here's the syncs available. I can connect Boomtown to any of these apps, save myself some time. I'm gonna go ahead and choose MailChimp. You can see it's $10 a month. I can create as many integrations between Boomtown and MailChimp as I want. For $10, I can send over as much data as I want. It's a flat rate. You do not get punished for being more productive at API Nation. I'm gonna to connect to Boomtown. It's just gonna verify the account I'd like to connect. Great, now I'm gonna connect MailChimp. So I just need a label, an email address, and the API key for my MailChimp account. So I'm just gonna call this Boomtown. You can put in your email address if you want. This is just to label the connection in API Nation. I'm gonna go into MailChimp to find that API key. I'm gonna come down here, click on my profile, click on account, and then I'm gonna click on extras. There it is, API keys. Here are the API keys. If I don't see an API key, all I have to do is click this button to create one and it'll go ahead and generate a new one for me. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one at the top. Control copy, go back to API Nation. Click in here and hit Control Paste, Control V. There we go, and now I'll connect the MailChimp account. Great, this is about it. We're almost done, just a few configuration options. First, what contacts from Boomtown do I want sent over? Do I want only contacts who are new? Do I want only contacts who are trash, watch, qualify, etc.? If you click select category, it's gonna send over all your contacts. And to be honest, that's what I would suggest. Get all those contacts in the MailChimp. That way you stay top of mind with the most number of leads possible. Same thing with source. These really come into play Later on, we're gonna set up this general sync, but if you wanted to come back through here and create a more specific sync, you could do that as well. For example, after I launch this, maybe I'll come back here and do the same thing, but I'll do it for hot leads, and I'll sync it into a separate mailing list. So I'll choose a different mailing list in MailChimp to send all those hot leads to. That way I, they're kept in different segments. I could send them more targeted campaigns knowing these are hot leads. That's where they're at in the pipeline. This is the kind of content they need to get over the finish line. But for this example, I'm gonna stick with the general, let's get everybody in there, let's stay top of mind. So select category, select source. It presents me the mailing lists I have available in MailChimp. So I have audience one and audience two. And in MailChimp, you can name these whatever you want. I'll show you where they are. They're in audience. And you can see I have audience one, audience two. And if I want it, I can come through here and name them something different. Maybe I wanna call this Boomtown Audience, I could do that. So audience one, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to Boomtown Con Leads. Boomtown Leads, great, so I'll save that. And if I go back here, I hit refresh here. There it is, it's now Boomtown Leads. So you can absolutely do that. And then this is what Boomtown is sending into MailChimp. Email, first name, last name. Definitely add as much information from Boomtown into MailChimp as possible because all these fields in MailChimp, MailChimp can use to trigger email campaigns. And because this is syncing from Boomtown to MailChimp, if you change something in Boomtown, it'll automatically change in MailChimp. So for example, if I wanna send a zip over here, I could do that. If I wanna send address over, I could do that. If I wanna send a phone number over, I can do that. 
In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to sync phone over here, MailChimp. And then what I could do later on, if I wanted, I could create a campaign in MailChimp that sends an email to everybody who has area code 858 in MailChimp. That way I know I send this email out to people in a specific region, specific area, and it targets them that way. I can do the same thing with zip code, state, address. I just have to sync it into corresponding field in MailChimp. Go ahead and save this and go back to the top and launch it. And that's it. Now every 10 minutes, Boomtown is gonna send over a batch of leads into MailChimp in that Boomtown leads audience. And then me as an agent who's trying to stay top of mind, all I have to do once a week, hop into MailChimp, create an email. I can use one of their beautiful templates. Week one, top of mind. And I'll just send out a quick email letting everybody know what I'm up to, maybe a tidbit, uh, maybe a review from a past client, just something to get in their inbox and stay top of mind. So that's it. That's how you create an instant email newsletter by connecting Boomtown to MailChimp. It keeps you top of mind. It nurtures all those leads you have in Boomtown, creating more deals down the line. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.